Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Fruitip and welcome back to Pokemon Silver. In the previous part, we were running around like crazy in this cave trying to find our way through. And hopefully we're going to do this in this video, but first of all, let's battle this wild Zubat. So here we go. Pilot, we are pretty close to reaching level 16. Maybe two, maybe three battles away from doing that, and it's a critical hit. Taking away all of the HP. Okay, maybe two more battles should do the trick. I'm going to take a look at my Pokemon, by the way. See in which order they are. Pilot, Fluffy, Hot Dog. Not really sure if I'm going to use my Geodude, my Frustian, Lady Stone. I caught it because I wanted to. It looks kind of fun. Similar to a Swedish Meatball, but we'll see if I ever use it. Maybe there is better rock slash ground type of Pokemon in this game. Here is another Subat. Come on out, pilot. We want that experience point. Another critical hit, perhaps? Nope. But it will do anyway. Alrighty. Maybe one or two battles more with pilot before we ding up to level 16. And here's a wild gear, dude. Let's go ahead and fight this, even though we are... Not super effective or even normal against this Pokemon, using Pilot anyway, but yeah, I want the experience point, so let's go ahead and do that. It's not super effective at all, and the Geodude is just throwing another thing that boosts his defense stat, but alrighty, this should be over. Okay, maybe one more attack. Kinda depends, because he's using another defense curl here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, come on, so strong! Hanging on by a thread, I guess you could say, but the game against the Geodude should be over here. And it feels like we are getting a lot more experience points whenever we are fighting a Pokémon that we are Sort of weak against, but there we go, level 16, and this is the exit. We have passed through the Union Cave, and we are on Route 33 right now. So let's take a look around here. It's a fruit bearing tree, and it's a snackery berry, I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty. Gonna go ahead and probably fight this man. I came through the tunnel, but I still have plenty of energy left. Alrighty, let's see what you got. Hiker Anthony wants to battle, and he's going to put out a gear dude. Level 11. This can be kind of tricky if the gear dude has some type of attacks that is super powerful against flying. Okay, this is going to be super effective. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna switch out to my hot dog here. Come on now, buddy, you can do it. Another rock throw. And that is also super effective. Okay, let's go ahead and throw an ember here, even though it's not effective at all, but... That is the be best thing we can do at this moment. Okay, lucky for us, he's just throwing a normal tackle, and hopefully this will be enough to defeat this level 11 gear dude. And there we go, good job everybody. I really need to find a Pokemon that is good against their uh, rock types. Machop, uh, let's see now, let's see now. Let's stick with my hot dog here. I believe this is a rock slash fighting type, but I'm not really sure about it. But we're dealing normal damage to it. And come on out. Good job, good defense right there. Defense is the best attack. And there we go, the battle is over. Um, we are getting a lot of experience point out of that for defeating Hiker Anthony, so I'll take it. Okay, let's see if we can stumble on some new Pokemons here. 
and I'm just running around. A lot in this grass, and finally a random battle. Sometimes it just feels like you can't even move one step before you enter a new battle, but yeah, uh, this Ekans isn't really anything for, for me, so I'm just going to use my Gust attack here. And finish off with a quick attack. Alrighty. Okay, maybe I should move on here. Try to find myself a Pokemon Center to heal up. Hello? It's unsafe to go in there. So I'm standing guard. Aren't I a good cemeterian? Well, I guess you are. Slowpoke well. Also known as the Rainmaker Well. Locals believe that a Slowpoke's yawn summons rain. Records show that a Slowpoke's yawn ended a drought 400 years ago. That is a long time ago. And looks like we are arriving at a new place here. The Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tales are being sold somewhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up here for a bit. Since we really need to use this Pokemon Center. Alrighty, and then I guess we're just going to take a tour around the city or the town or whatever this place is. Look around, talk to some people. Azela Town, where people and Pokemon live in happy harmony. That sounds awesome to me. Did you come to see Kurt to make some balls? A lot of people do just that. I don't even know who Kurt is, to be honest. Shakoral Kiln. Okay, let's go ahead and visit this house here. All the Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The forest's protector may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. Where have all the Slowpokes gone? Are they out playing somewhere? <laughs> that would be pretty neat, I guess, but... It seems like something bad is up at this place. So I'm gonna check things out, investigate a little bit. Azela Town Pokemon Gym, Leader Bugsy, the Walking Bug Pokemon, and Encyclopedia. So I guess bug Pokemons are weak against fire, but we will see eventually. Do you know about Slow Poketail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? Well, maybe. Cut through Azela and you'll be in Ilex Forest. But these skinny trees make it impossible to get through. The short coal mass Pokemon can cut down trees. Okay, cool. Kurt's house. So I'm gonna go up here and talk to Kurt. Hmm, who are you? Fruit, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry, I'll tell you anywho. Anyhow, Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke Tails for sale. So I'm going to go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke, old Kurt is on his way. Grandpa's gone, I'm so lonely. Okay, not really sure what we're supposed to do here. Maybe we should go back to that Slowpoke well, check things out, and maybe help out Kurt if it's possible. Just gonna go up here first, check this tree and take this berry. Bit Apricon. Alrighty, I'll take it, put it in my pocket and just move on here. So I guess, let's just take a look here. Alex Forest, enter through the gate. Okay, I'm gonna let that be for a while, do a little backtracking, and maybe help out Kurt. I'm gonna stock up on some normal Pokeballs first. Uh, okay, let's go with a total of five. Thank you very much, alrighty. 
Time to move out here and head back for the Slowpoke well. Okay, it's open now for some reason, so let's go ahead and enter this place. Courage. Hey there, fruit. The guards up to took off. The guards up top took off when I shouted at them. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. I can't be helped. Fruit, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Alrighty, I will try and do that, Kurt. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. We'll see about that, my enemy. Rocket Runt wants to battle, and he's about to put out a Ratata. Alrighty, a Ratata at level 9. So I'm going to throw a Gust attack here. Should do about at least half of the HP bar. There we go, did almost the entire HP bar, so really good job here. Finish off with a quick, quick attack here. And there's the first Pokemon. About to send out another Rattata. I am actually going to switch out to my Fluffy here to grind up this monster a little bit. I think Rattata will be quicker than us though, but I uh, will see. Yeah, it's quicker than us, but the Tail Whip failed and we are throwing a Thunder Shock here, <clears throat> dealing a little bit more than half of the HP bar. So the fight should be over now. I'm actually gonna get into the menus right here, switch out so that Fluffy is at the first spot. And the battle is over. Wasn't too hard to defeat this Rocket Grunt. What? Fluffy is evolving? That is cool. Here we go. Congratulations, your Fluffy evolved into Flaffy. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to switch place and put Fluffy on top here. And just dig deeper in this place. There's another battle. Stop taking tails! Yeah, just try to defeat, defeat all of us. I'm going to try my very best to stop you nasty people from doing this thing to all the slow pokes. Rocket Grunt wants to battle. And here's a Subat. Perfect for us. Since we're playing Fluffy first. Electric attack is super effective against flying types. Cutting their wings off pretty much. And we're getting quite a lot of experience point as well. Ekans. Let's go ahead and stick with Fluffy here. Throw another thunder shock here. Ah, okay. Another one of those should do the trick here. And the battle should be over now. Oh yeah, going good so far. Halfway through the experience bar, working our way to level 16. Going good, going good. Gonna pick up this Pokeball here, and there's a lot of slow pokes to the left, I believe, as we're getting a super potion. Quit taking slow pokey tails! If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's reputation would be ruined. Okay, now let's see what we got here. A total of three Pokemon, and he's going to send out a Ratata here. At level 7, shouldn't be a problem at all. And the rest of the Rock and Crowns team should be uh, pretty much the same, around level 7 or something like that, I guess. Subat, I'm going to stick to my electric sheep here. And make it easy for ourselves by using a Thunder Shock. Super effective, should go all the way down just like that. Awesome job. 
And I believe we're going to reach level 16 here after we're done with the last Pokemon, which is going to be yet another Subas. So let's go ahead and do like that. Super effective, and we're getting another 103 experience point, which will take us to 16. Awesome. So by the looks of it, we only have one more player to defeat in this cave. So let's go ahead and do that. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. Alrighty, what do you got for me? A coughing at level 14. So defeating this should give us a ton of experience points, which is always good. Poison gas, okay. We might get poison here, I guess. Hopefully not. Okay, we got poisoned. Let me check my pack here if I have anything against that. Uh, antidote, cures poison Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use this one. On my Fluffy. And hopefully that coughing isn't going to throw yet another... Poison gas at us. Oh, my bad. I'm gonna jump up to the um, attack section and throw off another thunder shock. And one more should do the trick here. A critical hit. And the fight should be over here. Ooh, a lot of lot of experience points. I'll take it. And the battle is over, so let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago. But we continued our activities on the ground. Now you can have fun watching us stir up trouble. Kurt, way to go, Fruit! Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too, let's get out of here. Hi Fruit! You handle yourself like a real hero at the well. I like your style. I would be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have now, but take it. Fruit received lure ball. Alrighty, I'll take it. I make balls from apricots. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. You have an apricot for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. So let's go ahead and give Kurt the apricot we picked up later. Or earlier, I should say. And I'm going to go ahead and heal up here a bit. And when we return, we are going to do something. Maybe battle at the Pokemon Gym at this place. That would be pretty cool to get another Pokemon badge and just continue on our way to become the Pokemon Master in this world. Alrighty then, but yeah guys, this will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, have a lovely day, and I will smell you later.